Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you new free module that's called PD Array. This is multifunctional module for this VREC that can be poly sequencer, even a sample player, envelope generator, record player, and wave shaper. And I think this is too many options here that you can mine by yourself, but today I'm gonna uh, take a closer look on this one. So it came from pure data and you can draw your own line in this window. Let's stop our clock. So the first um, possibilities of this beautiful and quite simple module is a sequencer and this is exactly a poly sequencer when you will use it quite right. Okay, this is my setup for this techno patch. This is clock from ZZK that use phase paradigm clock. So I just added divider and send into it phase and reset. Set it to three, four, two dividers and then send it to the poly merge as well as second divider here. So let me solo this part of the patch and press run. So now it's just uh, one single voice think this instance of macro oscillator okay this is actually eight step sequencer now you can change it and I use lazy Susan from Holonic to uh, achieve exactly trigger that comes from the ZZK clock. So every step uh, will closer to sending triggers as well as phase movement here. You can see now this playback uh, blue line sometimes being reversed, sometimes being forward. It is by using possibilities of phase paradigm in ZZK clock sequencer. This is a um, clock divider from Halonic that sent uh, some gate into micromap and I uh, mapping this reverse button to make some clock movements uh, forward and backward. So we can just unmap it by now. As, as well, I use this 8 phase module from Stormelder, and I perceive already uh, um, different sequences. Actually, you can make this 4 step or that steps as you want. Oh, this is sounds quite cool. And yes, this is polyphonic, so I send two phases for this. And let's find second voice from another instance of plots. I think here it is. Press Ctrl or Command and achieve a multi-solo function of updated squinky labs mixer. Let's turn the reverb off. So uh, those different dividers sense uh, different speed phase so you can actually get 
same sequencer but at different length and speed so it's kind of randomly semi-randomly and polyphonic consider is shift register like and also Sanguid voice pass it through this poly split module and to the lazy susan i use um, for this one uh, for the audio output uh, smooth it so this is for modulation and out steps that uh, send exactly what you see here to the lazy susan and then one per volt octave excellent oh i don't use this big number here but maybe later but i don't know uh, let's see another possibilities of this beautiful one is the envelope generator so with main pd array module we get pd array mini ramp so this is kind of uh, ad ramp so you send trigger in from any clock and get ramp upper sound wave LFO like and you could also modulate it by some kind of modulation here is a uh, from sequencer and you get envelope generator as you like and I use it I believe for hi-hat let's turn this on and We'll hear such a strange modulation and let's correct it. It's kind of fast and short drawings will help us to get some IDM stuff, I think. Very nice. And next one is a sample player. So to use a sample player you need to put in the size quite big number and use uh, input output range on plus minus 5 voltage. I also clock it from second divider uh, that came from this is a K clock and Let's turn this face clock forward and let's turn this solo. The very beautiful thing that I found, I made this patch on another laptop PC and now in, in my studio and I believe I should uh, some replacement, do some replacement with this web file but i think this module can print uh, this in the exactly this v patch file and it's quite awesome when you don't need a precise wave file and you won't get some misunderstanding where is my sample actually this is in a JSON file for VCV patch. It's amazing. You can also tweak the sample when you uh, unselect disable drawing and start some drawing and you can hear will get little silence which is also amazing for sound design tricks and even patch composing I think. Very nice. And second ability of this module is a record or player. So you can record something right from your patch. I've recorded the kick when 
this was a backward one so you can hear sorry here is the sound and now this is reverse it's kind of bit crusher and I filtered it out because size number is quite low but for some sound designing things I think it's awesome uh, let's record something you need a latch gate for this and now it receives our kick but I think we should initialize it and of course increase the size number oh I forgot we need select record position so now this is this is the thing so we record some kick and press latch out let's change position okay here is a kick some bit crusher and nice but i want record reverse one we just have to select reverse button and we get some let's check in in the patch kind of funny you can change position range here very nice it's unbelievable things in this rack really and the last thing I want to show you is a user type of wave shaper. So let's find this voice and solo it. So you need to send in the position some sound source like this plots. And then you need to set position range to the plus 5 minus 5 voltage and exactly the same input output range and drawing some distortion waveform it's kind of very different results here let's check it in the patch very cool and let's redo some mapping here to get additional fun and let's change the sequencer by 8 phase or even recording some new let's save it to the 4 Okay, I think you will love this module exactly. You can get this patch and my initial patch as well on my Patreon. Thank you for supper, guys. Uh, I believe you will have really fun with this module. Just use the ZZK clock sequencer and this phase paradigm will improve your patches in a very strange way.